Hi, in this video, I am going to explain exercise 6.2, question number 4, 5, 6, solution, chapter 6, linear inequalities. Question number 4, y plus 8 is greater than or equal to 2x. To solve this one, the first step is convert the inequality into a equality. So, we can have like this way, y plus 8 is equal to 2x. Next step is, we need to find the solution for this. So, to find the solution, take x equal to 0 and find the value of y and put y is equal to 0 and find the value of x. So, here we have x equal to 0 in this equation if I put, then I get y plus 8 is equal to 2 into 0, that is y plus 8 is equal to 0, so y is equal to minus 8. Then y is equal to 0 if I put here, then we have here 0 plus 8 is equal to 2x, x is equal to 8 divided by 2, that is x is equal to 4. So now here we got two points values, one is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 8 and the second one is x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 0. Based on these points, you can draw a graph. So to draw a graph, first step is here we have to see whether we have to draw a dotted line or a solid line. To, uh, to see that, first you need to see the type of the inequality. See, this is a slack inequality where we have greater than or equal to. Suppose if you have a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, then you have to use a solid line. You have to use a straight line. There is no dotted line. So now for this graph, we have to draw a solid line. Now let us locate the points on the graph. The first one is 0 minus 8, 0 minus 8. So this point is over here. Then 4, 0. So 4, 0 means this point. Now you can draw a straight line from this point to this point. So this line represents y plus 8 is equal to 2x. After this, next here, we have to shade the area. So to shade the area, we have to consider the inequality and we have to check whether it is a true or a false. Based on that, we can shade the area. So to do that, let us take the inequality y plus 8 is greater than or equal to 2x. Now here, you need to take any points which is not on this line. So uh, it's easy to take z just 0, 0 and to make the calculation. So that's why I'm taking here 0, 0. Suppose if the line is passing to this line, then that time you can't take 0, 0. You have to take some other points. So now let us take 0, 0. So we have here x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So 0 plus 8 is greater than or equal to 2 into 0, which is 8 is greater than or equal to 0. See, this is a true inequality. 8 is greater than or equal to 0. So if the statement is true that means you need to shade the area which is near to the origin which is towards the origin so that is uh, the points we have taken here it is zero zero so now we got here for that true that means we need to shade this area so the shaded area comes like this way so this is the graph of the inequality y plus 8 greater than or equal to 2x next we have fifth problem x minus y less than or equal to 2 so, the first step is convert the given inequality into an equality statement. So, x minus y is equal to 2. Next, the second step is find the solution for this. So, to find the solution for this, put x equal to 0 first in this equality statement. So, that we get here y value 0 minus y is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 2. Next, put y is equal to 0 in this. So, we have here x minus 0 is equal to 2. So, x is equal to 2. So, now here we got two solution. One is x is equal to 0 and minus 2, y is equal to minus 2. Another one is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 0. Next step is we have to locate these points on the graph. So, to locate the points on the graph, first we have to see we, whether we have to draw a dotted line or a solid line. That we can decide based on the inequality type. See here we have less than or equal to. That means this is a slack inequality. So, for this we have to use the solid line. So, that is the straight line. So, now if I locate the points, 0 minus 2 means this point. Then 2, 0 means this point. Now, let us draw a straight line. So, it is a solid line because it is a slack inequality. Next, after this, the next step is we have to find the shaded region. Whether we have to shade this side or this side, that we have to decide. So, that we can decide based on the inequality value, whether it's a true or a false. 
So I will take the inequality x minus y less than or equal to 2. So here put x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So we have here 0 minus 0 that is less than or equal to 2. So here you will get 0 is less than or equal to 2. 0 is less than or equal to 2. This is a true statement. So we have taken the point here 0, 0. So we got for this true. That means now we need to shade the area which is towards the origin. So we have taken this point and for this point we got the value that is true statement. That means this this area will comes under this inequality. So we have to shade this area. So that's about the graph for the inequality x minus y less than or equal to 2. Next here we will see the sixth question. The sixth question is 2x minus 3y greater than 6. So here we have the inequality. The first step is convert this inequality into an equality statement. So 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. Then next step is find the solution for this particular equality statement by taking x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So now if I take x is equal to 0, we have here 2 into 0 minus 3y is equal to 6. So that is minus 3y is equal to 6, y is equal to 6 divided by minus 3, so y is equal to minus 2. So we got here one point that is 0 and minus 2 for x and y. Next here. If I take y is equal to 0, then 2x minus 3 into 0 is equal to 6, 2x is equal to 6, x is equal to 6 divided by 2, x is equal to 3. So we got the second points for x and y that is 3 and 0. So now we have two solutions, one is 0 minus 2, another one is 3 and 0. So now let us draw a graph. So to draw a graph, we have to see first whether we have to draw a straight line or a solid line or a dotted line. So how we can see that? You just see the type of the inequality here. Here we have greater. Greater means that is a strict inequality. So for the greater, for the strict inequality, you have to use a dotted area. Because here 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. That is not included. So this area is not included. So that's why we have to use here dotted line. So now let us locate the points on the graph. So 0 minus 2, 0 minus 2 means this point, then 3, 0, 3, 0 means this point. So now draw a straight line, that is a dotted straight line. So this is the uh, graph, that is the straight line which represent uh, the equality statement 2x minus y is equal to 6. Now here we have to shade the area for the inequality. So to shade the area for the inequality, let us take the inequality 2x minus 3y is greater than 6. Here you can take any point. So I am taking the point or that's the origin 0, 0. So x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 I put here. So 2 into 0 minus 3 into 0 is greater than 6. That is 0 is greater than 6. Here we got. See this is the false inequality because 0 is less than 6. And here we got 0 is greater than 6. So that is the false inequality. So now here we got false. That means and we have taken the point 0, 0. That is this point we have taken. And for this point we got the false value that means this is not the shaded area we have to shade the area which is away from the origin that is this area we have to shade so this is the graph for the inequality 2x minus 3y is greater than 6 if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching